Uh, it's much, much more complicated. When I first started in the late 70s, we were just talking about getting stuff seeded, revegetated. Now we're talking about water quality and we're talking about productivity of, of uh, farmland uses, forest land. Uh, we're talking about uh, spoil placement, where before we weren't talking about those, those type of things. What we do prior to us starting is we develop a mine plan and on the mine plan we develop our cut sequence. And also we develop what the land's going to look like prior or post mining. We, we always have ongoing reclamation in your mind and as we're going we're trying to reclaim as quick as we can behind us, watching out for our water quality and making sure erosion and settlement control is in place. The main thing that uh, we watch for is drainage control. Uh, then, you, then you would be looking for spoil placement. Uh, if you have red zones, houses, roads, you'd be watching for the mining operation near those type of things. What, what we do is uh, when we work with the county, their developer come up with a plan, what they like to see. And we incorporate that plan into our mining, uh, our mine as we're mining. And then we get with the state, the MLR, to make sure that they're okay with the plan laid out. And they're a partner along with McKenna County, obviously. You have uh, consultants do uh, vegetation surveys. And uh, depending on the land use, whether it's trees, you'd have a tree count. Vegetation, you'd have a vegetation count. I think it's the attention to detail on the reclamation and the, the partnership with all the entities, being McCannon County, being VDOT, being the MLR. So what you're talking about here is we've got 4,500 feet of stream that has been restored. That wouldn't have been. The water would have run down through, uh, some in some cases, spoil. In other cases, it would have been just been areas that weren't mined. Now it's a constructed waterway and your water quality is going to improve over time by doing that. Well, they got all the residential use, they got the flat useful land, they've got uh, access roads into the site. Um, the actually Poplar Gap Park, you know, it was originally just a one ball field, baseball, one football field. Now it's four tennis courts, track, basketball gym, horse rings. I mean, they've just got a really more useful area for the county and for the public to use. And now we have restored it back to about what it was before any mining was done in here. It, it's pretty amazing to see it going from a pre-law mines that will have high walls all the way around it to what we got today for Buchanan County. It, it's amazing because prior to Hawks Nest, Buchanan County only had I think five acres of usable land. They're pushing 12 to 1,500 acres now. It's a big deal for us. You know, we're all environmentalists at heart. You know, from when we walk out here day one, we want to restore the land as close to what the original condition was prior to us coming in. And if not, enhance the land, you know, once we leave. Because we don't want to leave it in a non-usable land for the future generations.